today's experiment, we're going to measure the Gaussian profile of this laser beam. We're going to verify that it's Gaussian, and we're going to measure its beam waste. And uh, this is just a helium neon laser that I've left on for a while to let it stabilize. This is a razor blade that I will move back and forth. I just want to make sure it's perfectly vertical. So there's a laser beam. Uh, right now, the razor is out of the beam, and the beam is hitting a cap on top of this power meter, and the power meter is reading zero. Let me remove the cap, and the power meter reads some value. Let's see if there's a more sensitive setting. Nope, too much. Okay, so um, the value of the power meter is 7.43 milliwatts, and it's uh, set to be the wavelength of the helium neon laser. And as I move this micrometer stage in or out, so let me move the micrometer stage in, I'm blocking more and more of the laser beam, and you can see that the power drops. And eventually it doesn't quite go to zero because I have the room lights on, but when I actually take data, I will turn the room lights off. And let me see if I can demonstrate that with the room lights off, it actually does go all the way to zero. Let me shine a flashlight on the power meter and turn the lights off. And it's almost zero, so there might be some small offset that we have to contend with. All right. Um, oh, you can see on the detector itself, there's still some laser light reaching it. So if I move the, move the razor even more, there. eventually now the razor is completely blocking the beam and it reads zero. Okay, lights back on. And I will take data and give it to you.